Greetings to all. Today we are going to do a demo on how to create views in Oracle Apex. So we suppose that you have already logged in in Oracle Apex and this is the view that you are having. Where do we go from here? From here we'll go to SQL Workshop. Inside SQL Workshop, you need to choose the schema where you want to work. And in our case, you want to work with our student database schema. So we'll set it as the database on which we want to work. From there, we are going to browse our objects using the object browser. Once we are in object browser, we have the choice to see our tables or our views, indexes, sequences, and so on. In the past videos, we have shown how to create tables and we created these tables. So today I'm just going to show you how we populated those tables, starting with the table persons. And in the table, tab, table person, if I go to data, you see that there are now four persons that are in that table. I also changed slightly the usernames. The first one is a professor. The second one is a student. The third one is the admin. And the fourth person is a student. From there, we can go and see the table admins that has so far only one admin user. And we can see that is the admin with this username. If we go further, we can go and explore what is inside the table lecturers. And here we have one user, it's a professor username is inside the table lecturers. As for the table students, what did we put inside the table students? We have put two students, a student, Yono Obono, and then the student, Zukisa. We can see here they are students' numbers. Then we have linked these tables. We have put the data to link the lecturers and the courses to say which courses is which lecturer teaching. For example, if we see, we look at the very first row, we see that lecturer number seven is teaching course ID number 11 in 2021. So who is lecturer number seven? What is course ID 11? Lecturer number seven is Let's go to lecture number seven. So it's Professor Eono. Which course ID is teaching? Which course ID we we're seeing? He was teaching course ID 11. Let's go to course ID courses. Course ID 11. That is database four. So that is to say Professor Eono was teaching database four in 20 LCID in which year? lecturer courses, we will now see that was in 2021. Similarly, we have also populated the table student courses, which shows which students are taking which courses for different years. Now, the purpose of this video, like I told you initially was to talk about views, to do a demo of what is a view. So what is a view? A view is a customized uh, view, let's put it that way, of uh, the attributes from different tables or even from one table. For example, I may want to, want to see if I go to the table, uh, let's take persons. The table person shows the full name and the gender. But let's say I also want to see at the same time, at the same time as the full name, as the gender, 
I want, for example, to see for and and mean in addition to that. Suppose I want also to see the email address. So in this case, I will need to use the table admin and the table person to collect all that information into a view. Now, we'll start with one example to try to see a simple view. Which view is it? A view that we'll call lecturer details. Lecturer details, we want it as a view, a view where we'll be able to see the title, the full name, the gender, and the phone number, office number of all the lecturers. We will use the table lecturers and the table persons to build that view. Let's quickly check our time before heading to build the view. Where is our object browser? Let's try to check the time. The time is somewhere here. We can quickly go to stream. We have six minutes. We have enough time to build our view. So we say we want to build the view from which tables, from the table lecturers and the table persons. We're starting to build our view. We go to create and we want to create a view. It will ask us for the view number. So how did we call that view? We call it lecturer's details. So I'm going to copy the name of our view and I will simply paste it where we are trying to create our view. Good. No, it's not class list. It's lecturer's details. From there, he will ask us to build the view. Now, we are going to use the query builder to build our view. I click on the query builder. In the query builder, he will ask us to pick up which table do we want to build the view from. We said lecturers. What is the name of the view again? We said we want to build it from lecturers and persons. Okay. Let us take lecturers. And then you can see it's here and persons. Persons is also there. Now, which attributes do we want to see in our view? We say we want to see title, full name, gender, phone number, office number. Title, I pick it, full name, and then after full name, what else did we want to see? We wanted to see gender, phone number, office number. Gender, phone number, office number. Very, very good. Now, let's not forget that the table lecturer and the table person are linked through the foreign key. We need to indicate that link to say the username from the lecturer is the same username from the persons. This is how the link is done between the table lecturers and person. And you can see he made the link. Our view is set. Now we can go back, we can return and you'll see the code for the view. From there, we can carry on on the next stage. And uh, that's it. Can we create the view? Yes, we can create the view. The view has been created and the view will show the lecturer's details. If we want to see the data on that view, we can go on the data and it's telling us these lecturers with this full name, this is his gender, it is a professor, this is his phone number, and this is his office number. 
we have the results of our view. If we want to see the code of our view, we can go to code and uh, it will show us the code of our view. If we want to see the design of our view, we can go back to view. I think we have finished this part of the demo of how to build this view. We will show you more videos on how to build similar and other views. We thank you. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye.